Today we're renting a motorbike and we're driving to Cuchitamas. from our apartment building in Saigon. So let me tell you, we've been staying in this apartment building for a week. It's 10 floors. There are a number of B&Bs, but it's also still very much a local spot. And it's also like a little mini mall. So as you go down each floor, people are very entrepreneurial and they will have a restaurant or they have nails or they have uh, laundry out of their apartment. So you just kind of need to know which apartment does what. And so when we decided to go to Coochie Tunnels, we would drive a motorbike instead of taking a tour. Our Airbnb host said, no problem, just go downstairs, talk to the guy at the desk, he will rent you a motorbike, it's 150000 He said the same thing, it's 150000 Maybe locals get a better price, but I think when you're here in Vietnam, don't stress over the local price or foreign price. You know, you can negotiate some things. This rate is fixed, but some people are so intent on getting the local price. That's not possible. I have lived and been based and traveled out of many countries around the world. If you're foreign, you're never getting the local price. And if you think you're getting the local price, that means you're not getting the discount. my tips including what didn't make it into videos check out my vietnam guide for what to see eat and do plus crucial tips for renting a motorbike in vietnam so we decided this was a great time to take a break a breakfast break that's because we haven't had breakfast yet today alan had some milo that was it now we said let's just find whatever we can to eat. So we stopped off at this place 
And I asked them if they had bun bo, because it's 10.30, maybe they still don't have it. And they're like, what? And then I pointed the sign and she was like, oh, bun bo. But this is a beef noodle dish with rice noodles, thick ones. They look fantastic, almost like udon style thick. And then also, it does come with a pork knuckle and it comes with like a pork sausage. So I asked her if she could do it without pork. She said, no problem. Now, the two things I'm most excited about, tons of bean sprouts. And then also I love this plate of salad. So we've got lettuce, mint. It looks like we've got some scallions. And then Alan just got chada. Chada is an iced tea, very typical here. Um, it just comes out of the tradition or the necessity actually that you know a long time ago everyone had to boil their water and to make it a little bit more palatable they would put some fresh herbs in it so it's a fresh herb tea the taste is always different although somewhat similar it's always cold in a lot of places you don't have to pay for it and some of them you do but it's usually the cheapest drink on the menu but let's get to this soup it's like a fish cake I think it might be a fish cake and then lots of noodles Sweet, savory, salty. Mmm, tangy. I haven't put anything in this. It is originally from the Hue region in central Vietnam. But, you know, in Saigon, it's the capital city, so a lot of people immigrated here are gonna find dishes from all over. I've been watching how Vietnamese eat, because I'm like, how do I eat without being so messy? But they take the noodles. And it's like they put it over their spoon and then they eat it like this. Mm. Now, Alan is actually launching his own YouTube channel. I think it's gonna be very interesting because very different from mine. His will be 4K driving. So high quality from the perspective of a motorcycle, driving through the cities, driving through the hills of Vietnam. And I think what's interesting about it is it's just one shot, it's beautiful. I've seen channels like this on YouTube and I told him that the first title should be, I drove through the crazy streets of Saigon until I ran out of gas. Because the indicator on that bike does work. It works, we put gas in it, it went to full. made it to Coochie Tunnels. Now, Coochie Tunnels, you can get here by bus. I think you can get here by train. You can get here by taxi. You can take a tour. This is something that Alan wanted to do. I've done it before, but it was 15 years ago. I don't really remember it, but I really like the idea of coming out here by bike. That said, Google Maps instructions is wrong. First, it took us to the back entrance where a bunch of kids tried to tell us that we had to go away. Now I understand why the kids didn't want to take us to the proper entrance because it's actually quite far away. And then Google Maps took us to the second entrance, which was not open. And then finally, so many great people around here just told us where to go. We are definitely paying more than other people. I think foreigners in general pay twice as much. So this must be the guide ticket, which is 35 and then 90 for the entrance. All right, so we got here, and this is actually a whole complex, so it's nice to come on your own because there are a number of things to do here. A lot of Vietnamese here. It looks like there's a school trip here. It looks like there's some families here because there is a pool. There's like a recreation center with what looks like treetop adventure canopy. I don't know what it's called. It's hot. It's really, really hot. And so we decided first to get something. I wanted ice cream, but they only had flavors of durian and red bean. And so the woman here laughed because of course she loves durian, Alan loves durian. I don't want durian right now. I don't want creamy durian. So instead I got this, it says winter melon, but I think it might be soursop. Mm. Oh my goodness, I don't like this. It's like a fruit that was mixed with boiled corn. Some people say that I always like the food that I eat. No, bitter winter melon, not a fan, no. just been paired with two other groups and we're going to do a tour of this together and it is included in your tour price in English. 
Alan is going down and then to the tunnel for me because I don't I don't like small dark areas. But he's promised to shoot some video. Have fun. I know it seems strange to come all this way and not actually go into the tunnel, but I think because I'm short, I never in cramped spaces and so whenever I am, it really freaks me out. Oh, it looks like that was a quick one for everyone. I still don't want to do it though. All right. How was it? Amazing. Was it amazing? Yeah. Okay, this seems like this is going to be a very quick tour. This guy is really speeding through. That was a very efficient 30 minutes. I didn't go down below, but Alan said he loved it, that he learned a lot and that he loved going down the tunnel. So I think this is great. If you don't want to do a long day, you can absolutely come and do this on your, by yourself, go down the tunnels by yourself, get all the photos, whatever you want. And then as we exit, there is the path for the shooting range. So we can go do that. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, we gotta get going. It's an hour 45 back, but if we wait too long, um, we're gonna get stuck in rush hour. So the goal is to make it as far as we can, maybe even all the way, but I doubt it. 145 on the bike at once, that's a lot. So also just to let you know a little bit about prices. Over there at Coochie Tunnels, if you buy the bullets there and you take the shuttle here, uh, it's more expensive. So I think the cheapest bullet there was 60. Here, the most expensive bullet was 60. That said, we ended up buying 60 anyway. But I think actually I'm gonna check the prices with the M15, with the M16. M16, see look how much I know, how much it was. The reason I did not shoot a gun here is because I actually did this 15 years ago. I've got a picture to prove it. So this is all about Alan. Alan's day of visiting the Coochie Tunnels. Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.